the 12th of June. On this day we celebrate the memory of our venerable father Onufrius, the Egyptian. Towards the end of the 4th century, St. Paphnutius, who was living in a monastery in Egypt, was inspired to go into the inner desert to seek men of God there and to receive their blessing. After walking for four days, his provisions having run out, he fell exhausted. But an angel came to revive him and guided him in the desert for fourteen days, during which he ate nothing, and brought him before a formidable man. He was naked, covered with skin like an animal, wearing only a loincloth made from tree bark. His body was so withered by asceticism that it seemed like a corpse, and his snow-white hair reached the ground. He called Paphnutius, who had hidden himself by his name, and having exchanged a holy kiss, told him the story of his life. He revealed that he was the son of the king of Persia, and that after his birth, obtained after long years of prayer, his father had received a revelation in which he was told to baptize him under the name of Onufrius and to take him immediately to a monastery in Egypt to consecrate him to the service of God. On the way, a doe fed him, and she continued to give him her milk at the monastery until he reached the age of three. In this exemplary community, the child grew up in the fear of God and the love of all his commandments. As he continually heard those who lived the solitary life praised as the emulators of the prophet Elias and St. John the Baptist, who lived in the desert alone with God, entirely turned towards the life to come and without any human consolation, the young Onufrius was seized with an insatiable desire to imitate them. He finally left the monastery, and as he was travelling, his guardian angel appeared to him at the heart of a dazzling light and promised to give him his help for the rest of his life. He guided him to a cave where Hermias, an elderly hermit of Jewish origin, was living. Hermias instructed him for a few days on the Aramitic life and then took him to his place of spiritual warfare near a palm tree and a clean spring. From that time he would visit young Onufrius once a year only until the time of his blessed death. Saint Onufrius there engaged in an unremitting conflict against nature, the weakness of the flesh and the demons, for seventy years. He endured torrid heat, the cold of night and winter, hunger and sickness in order to obtain what God has promised to those who love Him. God's aid never failed Him, but each time He was in need, He came mightily to His aid. When His clothes in rags fell apart, the Lord caused an abundant covering of hair to grow across the whole of His body, which protected Him from the rigors of the climate and each day an angel brought him bread to eat. To Paphnutius' question about Holy Communion, the old man replied that each Sunday God's angel would bring all the solitaries in the desert the Holy Communion, which would fill them with spiritual consolation and the energy with which to continue their struggles alone in the desert. Having abandoned every worldly care to commit ourselves to God alone, we do not feel hunger, thirst or other afflictions, he said, and should any one of us desire to see man again, the angels transport him in a vision to paradise, where he sees himself so penetrated with divine light that he forgets all his labour and sufferings and returns to his ascetical life with a renewed ardour. Onufrius then took his guest to his hut, where they continued their conversation until evening. Pavnutius saw the bread that God had sent him, and after fully satisfying their hunger together, they spent the whole night in prayer. In the morning, Onufrius revealed to his guest that God had sent him in order to see to his burial, for the time had come for him to go to his celestial dwelling place. He commanded Paphnutius to return to live among men, 
that he might teach them about the manner of life of the hermits and that they might imitate them, each according to his strength. After having prayed, he stretched himself on the ground, his face shining with a light not of this world, and a fragrance filled the air. Then clasps of thunder resounded, and the heavens visibly opened, revealing the whole angelic army which had come to receive his soul. In the midst of this rejoicing, Christ's voice was heard, calling the soul of his servant to enter into bliss. Paphnutius shed many tears over the body of the holy ascetic and was asking himself how he could possibly dig a tomb in such solid ground when two lions appeared out of the deep desert and they dug a pit for him in which he was able to place the body. On the return journey he met four elders who had been living in a cave for sixty years and further on four other young ascetics who were living in a paradisiacal setting. Of noble origin, they had renounced secular studies in order to learn true wisdom in solitude. They each lived separately for five days of the week, and they came together on Sundays to receive Holy Communion from an angel. In spite of his strong desire to remain with them, Paphnutius was obliged to continue his journey. He finally arrived in Egypt, where he witnessed the truth that men of flesh and blood were able to live as angels in this world. He spent the rest of his days in a God-pleasing way, and he himself fell asleep in peace, thereby attaining the dwelling place of the righteous. Blessed is our God who is known for the birth here in his nature. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere in filling all things, treasure of blessing, giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Father, who art Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, the She followed the life led by the angels, proving citizens of the desert and treasuries of graces. O oh, no, free as Egypt's fairest gem, and Peter, the bright star of Athenites. Hence we honor your great struggles, unceasingly will chanting with joy of spirit. Glory to him that has given you strength. Glory to him that has made you wondrous. Glory to him that worketh healings for all through you. Come, O ye people, let us chant to him, to Christ God, who divided the sea and guided the people whom he had led forth from the bondage of Egypt, for he has been glorified. 
O Holy Father, O new free us, pray to God for us. Since thou broughtst Christ to dwell in thee completely, and didst put far from thee the world's unstable glory, thou worthily delight in his joy, O glorious and celebrated, O new free us. Holy Father, O new free us, pray to God for in us. In the law of Christ didst thou meditate, O divine, O new free us, and was shown to be a tree of life, fruitful with virtues bringing forth the grace of divine healings in thine achievement. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Acquiring a pure mind from childhood, O Nufrius, thou didst imitate a Baptist more than human way of life, setting out with joy for the wilderness. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art known to be the house of wisdom, O pure virgin, for having taken flesh from thy pure blood and experience the cross, God has imparted this passion to us. Establish us in thee, O Lord, who has slain sin by the tree, and plant the fear of thee in the hearts of us who him thee. O Holy Father, O Nufrius, pray to God for us. Thou camest down to the yoke of Christ, O Nufrius, longing to converse with him alone in untrodden wilderness, and to delight in the beauty of his divine glory. Holy Father, O Nufrius, pray to God for us. Enlightening thyself with the light of knowledge and scattering the gross darkness of passions, O Father, Thou didst receive the law of dispassion on the tablets of thy heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Adorned with a wise understanding, thou didst renounce provision for the flesh, and was shown to be the angel's peer, O Onufria. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy sympathy, O ever-virgin Theotokos, Quench the blazing fire in my soul with the sprinkling of thine intercessions, and water me from the fountain of compassion. Thou truly didst go far off into the deserts to dwell, O righteous, O Nufrius, well ever having the Lord to save thee in sufferings. Having pleased the Master, thou hast therefore been given that unaging kingdom of the heavens, O blessed one. Remember them that honor thee now as thou abidest there. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O blameless virgin, who is able to tell of the endless number of my vile and impure thoughts, and the unseemly images that flood my mind, who can give the full account of the bold insurrections of my fleshless enemies and the evil they do me, but by thine intercession with thy Son, O gracious lady, deliver me from them all. Thou hast come forth from the Virgin, neither a mediator nor an angel, but thyself incarnate, O Lord, and hast saved me the whole man, wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. O Holy Father, O Nufrius, pray to God for us. Founded upon Christ with unbending firmness, O Nufrius, thou didst break up the swelling billows of the demons like the foam of the sea. Holy Father, O Nufrius, pray to God for Enduring us. Enduring mighty as a damnant through heat and frost, thou brought to naught the wrestlings of the demons. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the sacred Pavnotius saw thee, O righteous Father, O Nufrius, he was astonished at thy way of life, and was amazed at the grace thou hast. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the shining brightness of thy Son, O Theotokos, drive away the misery of my soul, and bring me to salvation. O Lord, bestower of light and creator of the ages, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God than thee. 
O Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Offering thy mind as a whole burnt offering unto him who endured death by the cross for our sakes, thou worthily became the partaker and joint heir of his glory. Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for thou us. Thou made of thyself a temple altogether luminous with the virtues of righteous and all blessed Onufrius, flashing lightning like with the far shining radiance of the clear and divine beams of God-like miracles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Apprehending the illumination of Christ with an inspired mind, thou joyfully dwellest in the desert as in paradise, putting forth shoots of incorruption. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou gavest birth to Christ, the giver of good, O Virgin, Pure Mother of God, heal me by thy compassion, tossed now as I am in the wicked billows of passion. World about in the abyss of sin, I call upon the unfathomable abyss of thy loving kindness. Lead me up from corruption, O God. O Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Through abstinence thou didst cast overboard the heavy burden of the flesh, O righteous Onufrius, and steered with the breezes of the Spirit, thou didst reach a tranquil harbor. Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for thou us. Thou became an earthly angel, deified by thy God, or striving, O all blessed Onufrius, for thou didst emulate the life of John and of Elias. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Filled with the shining of the noetic light, and sustained upon heavenly food, thou hadst angels speaking with thee, O Nufrius, since thou wast the angel's peer. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suffering pain because of passions, and bound hand and foot with sins, I pray thee, O Immaculate Lady, who has given birth to joy, grant me release from mine evil deeds. As angels in the flesh who dwelt with the hosts incorporeal, he lit the desert like stars flashing in the night with your ascetic pains and toils. Now, O God-bearing fathers, importune God's great mercy for us who sing your praise. O Nufrius and Peter, well crying out, Alleluia. O love, thou transcendently shining light, O sum of all the virtues, whoever fillest the heavenly orders with gladness and grace, and hast made thy dwelling in the saints, the patriarchs, prophets, and apostles. By their prayers dwell also in us, that with them we may sing to God, Alleluia. Alleluia. The all-wise children did not worship the golden body, but entered into the flame themselves and mocked the gods of the heathen. They cried aloud in the midst of the flame, and the angel bedewed them, saying, The prayer of your mouths has already been heard. O Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Since thou hast stilled thy soul in the plough of prayer, and so did with abstinence, O blessed Father Onufrius, thou didst reap the sheaf of purity, wherewith thou dwells with angels, as thou dost shout, Blessed are thou, the God of our Father. Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Removing thyself far from worldly fare and dwelling in the wilderness, O righteous one, thou didst receive heavenly bread, for thou art Christ as thy provider, to whom thou didst joyously shout, Blessed are thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The renowned Pavnutius be held with fear and amazement the pains of thy wrestlings, which as transcending man's nature were glorified by the Spirit, 
and with joy he cried, Blessed are thou, the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The divine mystery of thy conceiving astonishes beings both mortal and immaterial, O made most pure. For without seed thou alone gives birth to the Word, who because of his pity became flesh, by whom being saved we shout, Blessed is she that conceived God in the flesh. God who descended into the fiery furnace for the Hebrew children and transformed the flame into dew. Him ye as Lord all ye works and supremely exalt him for all ages. O Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Truly a flame in mind with the fiery luster of the Spirit, O all blessed Onufrius, thou dost flesh like a star with the beams of divine visions and the rays of healings for them that supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Ever mighty with divine strength, O righteous one, thou didst destroy the audacity of the demons and is bring the nature of dumb beasts into subjection while crying. Thee do we supremely exalt, O Christ, unto the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Giving glory to God at thy falling asleep, the divine Pavnutius reverently buried thy venerable body, and he became the trumpet of thy nature, transcending struggles unto the uttermost parts of the earth. O righteous Onufrius, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like a bright cloud, O Mother, thou bears in thine arms the Son, Christ God transcendent. Through him brighten the gloom of my soul's passions, and illuminate it with the light of this passion, O birth giver of God. O ye faithful with hymns, let us magnify in oneness of mind the word of God who from God came in his ineffable wisdom to renew Adam, who had fallen grievously into corruption, and who became ineffably incarnate of the Holy Virgin for our sake. O Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. With the fire of love for God, thou burns up the pleasures of the flesh, O Father, and having made thy soul beautiful, thou shones like a star in the desert, manifestly lighting the whole world with the rays of thy way of life and the splendor of healing. Holy Father Onufrius, pray to God for us. Holy mingled with God through love, thou became the partaker of his kingdom, and thou hast received the enjoyment of his delight, the torrent of life, the choir of them that keep festival, and the joy that ages not of thrice blessed Onufrius. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since God is no gracious, to thee because of the pains of thine asceticism and the sweat of thy labors, O renowned and wise Onufrius, make him propitious to our soul, who hymn thee and deliver us from adversities, passions, and suffering. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having thee alone as my protection and strength, my wall and mighty tower, O Theotokos, I turn back the assaults of mine enemies and the floods of passions, for in thee alone have I ever placed my hope to deliver me from corruption. Thy lofty way of life is a rule and standard of perfect fear of God for the solitaries. Being thyself leavened in thy mind and thought, thou, O divine, O Nufrias, dost succor them on their journey, under the yoke of discretion. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, at the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, Sisoes the great Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Rhone and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of our righteous God-bearing fathers, Onufrius the great of Egypt and Peter of Athos, with the prayers of the holy martyr Antonina of Nicaea, with the prayers of St. John the Soldier, with the prayers of our righteous father Julian in the quarter of Dalgatus, with the prayers of our righteous father Zeno, with the prayers of St. Trifilius, the bishop of Leucusia in Cyprus and disciple of St. Spiridon, with the prayers of St. Anna, great princess of Cashin, with the prayers of our righteous father Arsenius of Canavietz, with the prayers of our righteous father Onufrius of Mali, with the prayers of our righteous fathers Onufrius and Oxentius of Vologda, with the prayers of our righteous father Stephen of Camel, with the prayers of our righteous fathers Vassian and Jonah of Solovki, with the prayers of St. Terenan of Calros and St. Canara and those with them whose memory we also keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.